right, first time on the highway. <laughs> oh man, this is nervous. I have never ever in my life driven one of these step vans. It has a cool little window right there. But I have never been on the highway in one of these bad boys, much less a street. But uh, we're about to do it right now. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. You guys see me on the side of the road. Make sure to help me. Please make sure to help me. Let's go. Welcome to the DIY video series with me, Frank Baltiers, where I show you on various videos how to build your food truck from scratch. As you see right behind me, I turn empty trailers into full mobile kitchens on wheels from the cooking equipment right behind me to the sinks, to the plumbing, to the gas lines, you name it, we do it. And I show you step by step on how to do those on all the previous videos to this one. But in today's video, I'm doing something I'm gonna give you guys four announcements and oh my gosh, it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. One of them is I'm gonna be answering a Q&A. Two of them, I'm actually looking for a gentleman called James Taggart because my ebook is out as of this morning. My ebook, I released it to all the people that have uh, purchased that. So thank you for that support. I do appreciate it. As always, that feedback that you guys give me will help me out. Good feedback, bad feedback. It helps me improve on how I can deliver the best product and the best explanation for you all to watch. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you've been fellow subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing all the videos and for watching. I do appreciate it very much. Again, I'm Frank Baltiers. So that's uh, announcement one. I'm looking for James Taggart. Please email me, rollingburritosfoodtruck at gmo.com. I do not have your email, so I cannot give you access to that book. Please, 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 you paid for it, so I want you to have it. James Taggart, please do it. <laughs> so that's announcement one. Announcement two, the Q&A that I get quite a bit and that I've received this week is how much does it cost to actually build the food truck or the food trailer? And that's a very hard question. The reason I say that is because I do not build these for customers. I do not build them for anybody that requests them because I know you guys request them almost daily. Um, but what I do have to say is, for example, there's a guy in Houston uh, Patrick, uh, Trailer King Builders, he actually builds them daily. So if you guys want to reach out for a price, please contact him. There's no affiliate. But if he does want to uh, sign me up for a promo, <laughs> hey, I'll do it. But he's a great builder out there. I've seen some of his builds on his YouTube videos and some of his Facebook Lives that he does on Instagram Lives. But to answer the question, here's what I can tell you. This cooking equipment that you see back here, I bought it in 2020. So obviously the prices have raised quite a bit. I bought more cooking equipment because I built six trailers. Um, so the price is a little different in the aspect of how much I paid for them and how much you guys will today. Down here, some of the trailers that I bought had chef bases. Are you guys going to add a chef base to yours? It's it, yes or no, right? It depends. So that raises and drops the price. Obviously, those are a couple grand. The cooking equipment back here, sorry, the, the fridge equipment, do you want it new or do you want it used? That's another question. What kind of sinks are you buying? Another question. So all these fluctuate prices and it's not $10. We're talking thousands. So I could tell you 40,000. I could tell you 30. I could tell you 60. So it all depends on that. Uh, if you guys give me more details, then obviously I can help you. On here, I didn't pay for any labor. So if you guys have someone building it for you, obviously there's a labor cost. If you do it yourself, there's no labor cost. So that's kind of what you're saving in a certain aspect. But if you build it yourself, I believe that you can fix anything that breaks down on it down the road because things will break. So you want to be able to fix it. And that's where the DIY um, experience comes in, that you can fix these things down the road if something were to break. So hopefully that helps you out. But to answer the question in a very, very general way, I would say 40000 is somewhere that you can expect to pay um, for a fully functional food trailer. It's not a food truck. A food truck can be more because obviously it has an engine and all that fun stuff that goes with it. So that's announcement number two. Announcement number three, as you guys heard in the beginning, me looking for James Tagger. My ebook is out as of this morning. So if you guys want that, the, the, <laughs> sorry, the description will be in the link where you guys can buy it from the Stripe link. And then I'll add you to the Google Docs form. So if you guys want access to that, that link will be in the description. It's a new ebook breaking down the food truck build that you see right behind me. It has exclusive videos that no one has ever seen on YouTube that have special links for all that fun stuff. So you guys 
don't see every single video as I broke it down on these new ones that I made. They're just kind of like you guys are walking behind me with the on the shoulder, like with the camera and everything that I do and where I buy all the little knickknacks that come into the food truck. But all the big things, um, they do show on all the videos on the video series. This is just something special that I wanted to do for the people that wanted to support the channel, wanted to support me, and wanted to support this little ebook that you guys have been requesting for some time. Last but not least, I do have a special announcement. I bought something this morning, <laughs> and I'm gonna link the behind the scenes me traveling to buy it uh, behind, you know, after I'm talking here. So I bought something this morning that might start the video series again. Um, so you guys are in for a little treat in the aspect of we might do it all over. I said I was never gonna do it, but sometimes we change our mind. So stay tuned for that little part of the video right after I talk here. So again, I'm Frank Baltieres and I show you how to build food trucks from scratch, from A to Z. Everything, everything you need to know on how to build it yourself. If you guys have any questions, as always, drop it in the comment section because I answer each and every one myself. I look at each and every one myself. Sometimes I miss them, but usually I'm pretty good at catching almost every single comment. Frank Baltieres on how to build your food truck. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We're out of here. Here we are on a Sunday morning bright and early going to check out this truck that I'm thinking about buying actually a trailer came up yesterday so you can talk to each other a trailer came up yesterday on Facebook marketplace very 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 intrigued it's a great looking cargo mate blazer you guys know I love the cargo mate blazers almost tempting to not buy this truck that I'm about to show you guys right now the price is equally the same there are benefits there are downfalls to either one. Uh, the quick one on the tr on the truck that I'm gonna see right now is that it has a motor. Having a motor means I have to look for a mechanic. That is the kind of like the iffy part just because you never know if something can go bad, if you have bad transmission, whatever can happen. And in a trailer, I can literally go pick it up right now, hitch it to the back of my pickup truck, bring it back home, and we're good, we're ready to rock and roll. The great part as I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do with this truck is with the trailer, I have to hitch it all the time. With this truck, all I do is get in and just literally, I can drive it to the bowling alley if I wanted to. So it's something that simple, that easy, that makes it a marketing um, billboard, right? So to speak, a driving marketing billboard where you can just drive it around town, drive it to the gym, drive it to the bowling alley, that's what I would do with it and then um, make it what I'm gonna make it here on YouTube. I don't wanna show too much of it yet because what direction I'm gonna take, I'm still on the fence, but I am gonna do something with this truck that I'm about to show you guys right now. Just so you guys know, it takes a little bit of extra effort when people are still sleeping, you're out here driving to find what you want. The reason I'm driving early is because I'm crossing the border over to Indiana. It's, um, it gets a little rough with traffic a little bit later in the morning. So right now, early in the morning, it's perfect. There's nobody on the road, as you guys can see few cars easy peasy so again join me in let's go see this truck you guys are about to see what I'm possibly possibly <laughs> going to get so hopefully you guys enjoy this little show of the behind the scenes of what really happens when you buy a truck or a trailer this is a fun stuff that nobody shows you on YouTube so let's go Frank Bald here is how to build a food truck and uh, 2.0 3.0 4.0 I don't know I built six of them already so we'll keep going We'll see so here it is that big surprise look at this rainy morning driving out to laporte indiana i actually found this truck right here there it is right there snap on beware killer dogs on property that's a cool sign i have to take a video of it but this right here is an announcement that i was going to make uh, i was debating highly highly debating between a truck or a trailer and as you can see here i came to see this one in person i had seen it online on tooltrucks.com it's in the city of laporte indiana the inside height here is way over six foot beautiful beautiful bones on this truck that you can do quite a bit of things with i do have something in mind of what i'm going to do with this i don't want to ruin the surprise yet so stay tuned for that but there's the inside beautiful beautiful space the engine the only reason i was hesitant about a truck and i put it on my ebook on my bullet points is the engine i do get very hesitant on things with engines just because i'm not a diesel mechanic i don't know how to work on diesel engines 
I haven't changed oil in a car in years because my cars are electric. So as you can see, I, I'm not the biggest expert when it comes to motors anymore. But this thing seemed like a great deal. I saw it online, as I mentioned. I came to see it. And to be honest, this guy kept it in pristine condition. As you can see, it's, it's inside his garage. And he has a motor home. So that just tells you that he takes care of his cars. No rust or very minimal rust on this thing. Being in Indiana, being in Illinois area, in the Midwest, we get a lot of salt on the roads. And this thing is very, very as rust free as you can get. It has that lift gate on there as well. Man, you name it, this thing is great. I was very surprised just by how it was, the bones of this. And as I mentioned, the floor was sturdy. The walls seemed like they were insulated. Uh, there was a builder, obviously, that built the inside of this. There's a little jump seat right there so you can take a second person with you. Again, let me show you the inside once again. Uh, the roof on here, obviously, it's going to get removed. Put some lights up top. A lot of things are going to get removed on here. But it has officially been purchased. I didn't pick it up because I didn't have insurance on it. So I don't want to drive it back without insurance. But I'm going to pick it up in a couple days. And that way it's ready to rock and roll. Show you guys some great footage of what we're going to do with this bad boy. But again, that is the greatest announcement that I can give you. The biggest announcement that I can give you for today. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys like this new video series that's coming up. Yeah, it's been